freaking sprint laptop. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you if this information, and then it's just like static. And yeah. Stay, it's just, 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 just dial up noise. Yeah. yeah <laughs> I uh, like to go greetings friend. <laughs> I almost thought you were going to say, let me tell you a story. Yeah, let me tell you a story. And they all lived happily ever after. <laughs> Welcome to Tabletop Adventures. I'm your DM, Richard. On Tabletop Adventures, we grew tired of trying to tell the stories from memory, so instead we started recording them because our brains are bad at remembering the cool shit that happened. Join me as I lead my friends down a magical road where anything and everything can happen. From battling superpowered villains to thwarting the plots of an evil warlord, the adventure can always be found on the tabletop. All right, and we're back. All right, so um, some of them start coughing and like, where am I? What's what's going on? Uh, name pineapple's like, it's it's okay, it's okay. What what's your name? Where where's my son? Where where's oh my, where's, where's Frankie? Where where's my son? Whoa, 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 hold on, hold on. What is your name? My name's. I don't remember my first name, but my last name is Harrison. Where's my son? Where's my wife? <laughs> I look at Pineapple, but he cannot see how wide my eyes are behind my mask. Yeah. <laughs> um, but since it's a comic book, we can have like a... Uh, yeah, my domino yeah. mask gets really well, wide. Uh, yeah. I was thinking we could have like a panel that's actually like her face, like without the mask sort of thing. Yeah. To show the expression. Um, I go over to him. Okay. And uh, sit down. Or like kneel next to mm him. -hmm. Um, and I say, "What did you say your last name was?" Harrison. 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 Okay. I turn to Pineapple. You need to call Harrison right now. I am Harrison. The other Harrison. My brother. Yes. He's alive. Yes. Harrison Ford is alive. <laughs> <laughs> no, but. Yes, your brother Ford is alive. He's alive. I know where he is. Your son is alive. Thank God. Where is my beautiful boy? He is in his 30s, 20-something? 25. He's in his mid-20s. And he's not that beautiful. He <laughs> <laughs> will get you to him. That's ridiculous. My son is in his early teens. That's when the attack happened. Galvin is a horrible, horrible bastard. Well, of course. We're going to kill him for you. You got this pineapple. I'm so confused. <laughs> I've helped. Ambulances arrive. Everyone's hauled into the, the stuff they're taken to hospitals. A lot of them are freaking out. A lot of them are just dead-eyed and just like, uh, 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 uh. We need Polly here to rally these people and make them feel better. <laughs> Collie falls off his side. Did I hear someone say my name? No. Collie literally busts through the wall. 
<laughs> um, yeah, let's jump over to Kali and Nolbot. What are you guys doing uh, right after that uh, radio announcement? Yeah. Run the time just a yeah. few minutes. Like maybe fifteen or twenty. Yeah, I was gonna say like probably twenty minutes. Yeah. yeah. And then NPR switches back on. Um, I don't know that she did anything there. It's not like it's uh, his association and police. She's got a pretty bad report with the police and uh, doesn't really care much for the Heroes Association. Mm -hmm. um, well, Nobot, mm -hmm. one of your primary um, users right. has just been terminated. Supposedly, sure. anyways. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure uh, what happens in that scenario. <laughs> Total shutdown and reboot. <laughs> <laughs> I hope not, because then I uh, forget that you're uh, a <laughs> yeah. authorized user. Um, to a first tier authorized user. All right. <laughs> as a replacement, I guess. <laughs> that's, how that, that's how that works. <laughs> All right. Works for me. You're your own robot. Yeah. <laughs> beep, boop, beep. Yeah. Beep, boop, beep. Does that call me Robo Joe? Robo Joe. <laughs> <laughs> like just in everyday conversation. <laughs> what about uh, Jobo? No, that doesn't work. Jobot? Jobot. Rojo? Robo Jobot? No, Rojo is Jobot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jobot. Yeah, Jobot is. Or Robo Joe, whatever. <laughs> All of them are good. Some of them better than others. Um, but I don't think I would need to necessarily go after Galvin. In particular. Yeah. Robots do not have feelings. Yeah, I'm not a uh, uh, Nobot is not programmed for vengeance. <laughs> <laughs> Although Nobot wants. Yes. <laughs> Kali knows the truth about Vanna, or at least that she's not dead. And no way of figuring out where Galvin is. Um, honestly, I think Nobot might be, uh, might at this point um, decide to go looking for Steve. Okay. Because that's the thing I can do. Okay. So that's not really a thing I can do. <laughs> he yeah. could be in any city, yeah, um, anywhere in any of those cities. And um, as Kali, I witnessed um, Thomas Green get forced into signing a contract with um, with Galvin. Mm -hmm. So I figure this is a pretty good thing for him, for someone who. Kali respects, so I guess she goes to visit him. Okay, cool. And celebrate a little bit, I guess. All right, that is cause for celebration in some means or another. Uh, so yeah, you you head off to. Uh, uh, 
Hmm. Has Thomas Green ever taken you to his estate? No, I don't think he has. I'd probably just go to his, like, office if he's in the middle of the week during the day. Yeah. Probably at work. Yeah, I think Robot is actually going to go over to Galvis's, uh estate. Oh, okay. Yeah. I feel like that's a reasonable course of action. Okay. So yeah, you head that way, you go to uh, Galvin, or not Galvin, um, Thomas. Thomas, thank you, Thomas Green's workplace. That doesn't have to, like, turn into anything if you guys want to continue with the group and storyline, I'm fine. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll go with you really quick, because there there is some, we're in a drama mode right now. Lots of drama is happening, because remember... Thomas Green's son is still hospitalized. Um, and... Which, thinking about it, wouldn't you go there knowing that he'd probably be there with his son? What was it that injured him? Um, oh, too, much yeah, too much drugs. I'm totally drawing a blank on what happened there. Oh. A lot of pastries from Galvin's Mansion. Uh, and they were laced with, like, what, LSD? Uh, opiates. Opiates. Opium. The. Yeah, I'll waste with opiates. So, fuck him up good. Yeah. And he ate way too many of them. He OD'd really bad. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Go to check on him. Okay. So, uh, you, um,. It's that whatever different hospital. He's yeah, whatever different hospital he's at. So you you fly. Let's say uh, B City Hospital because he was at A City. Uh, so you you fly to B City. Uh, you walk in. What? Can I help you, ma'am? I'll just call you sir. to the patient. Friend of his father, family friend. All right. I can uh, have you sign this, please. Basically, she signs a, a check-in. Perhaps wants you to sign one of those check-in sheets. I'm trying to figure out if Colleen is that right. <laughs> <laughs> you can roll for it. High or twelve? <laughs> <laughs> no, she doesn't know. Okay. okay. <laughs> uh, scribbles. Okay. She's she's learned how to like sort of fake something. <laughs> to make something that looks like cursive. Yeah. Let <laughs> me well, kind of adjust your glasses. Mm, all right. Um. And uh, she writes down a number and hands it to you. It's for like the fifth floor or something for B City Hospital. Right down the hallway, Miss Mimberlet. Right down the hallway, Miss Mimberlet. Miss Wankershaw? Okay, um. So then she can't read either, but. She knows enough to be able to, like, scrape by with, okay, one of these is probably the floor, one of these is probably the room. Or maybe she knows, like, numbers. Yeah, numbers are easy. Yeah. 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 It's just ten. Yeah. Yeah. So she knows numbers. Anything past ten just doesn't matter. (laughs) Anything past ten is just too many. (laughs) (laughs) Unless it's, like, 19 dollars. there. (laughs) So you, you make your way to an elevator and punch in the numbers, or you punch like a number that it reads on it, you write it up. Uh, oh yeah, you just have to it. look at the paper and see what the number, like you just have to match the shape to the shape. Yeah. <laughs> if I didn't know how to read, that's what I was going to do. Yeah. <laughs> so punch in some numbers using Jupiter's drive. <laughs> 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 happening <laughs> <laughs> why so you write the 
the elevator up and you you uh follow the numbers down the hallway and eventually you find uh the same shapes that are on this card that are on a door and uh you kind of give a knock What's that say? I can't read it. You ever if you ever feel like you did some shit. dumb shit, just remember current I sensei tried to put a tachi on the genjutsu. It's all right. He's right after being one of the best genjutsu users ever in the history of Naruto Jinjutsu. Okay. Ever. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. She's a bitch. So yeah, you go up. That's not how doors sound. Come in. I go in. Alright. Holly. What an unexpected surprise. Are you holding up? He'll survive. Look at you. I've seen worse days. See the news today? Yes. So where's the, where do you think that puts you with the, the little news he had, huh? Well, if they're investigating Galvin's mansion, they're sure to find connections to me. Galvin kept meticulous files on all of his things. Granted, they are very well they are very well hidden away and locked behind certain mechanisms, but knowing the Hears Association, they'll figure out a way to get them. Does he use the acronym? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's Hero Association. Yeah, that's Hero Association. <laughs> celebrations worth of people who very clearly saw what appeared to be you getting coerced into signing that contract after publicly announcing that you would not sign that contract. So I think you've got some pretty thinning well. <sighs> yes, possibly. We'll see how things hold up in court, though. <laughs> is it supposed to be rumbling like that, the pot? Yeah, it's bubbles forming underneath the pot, the can of caramel. Oh, okay. And lifting it up and dropping it. Aha! It's supposed to be like making a caramel pie for tomorrow. Ooh, delicious. See how far this layer is? Mm-hmm. I hear you really banging away at that cara that that uh, jar of caramel. So hard, it's just some sweet condensed milk in a pot and boil it for four hours and pour that into a can into a pie crust and oh shit, you've made pie. <sighs> wow. Insane. Out soon. Anyway. Anywho. Um, this is turning into a bunch of really awkward small talk, so, <laughs> um, well, good luck. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'll leave you to it and I'll walk out. Thank you for visiting no me at least, Kali. Yeah, sure. Maybe I'll. Best not to associate yourself for, with me for a time. I assume the media will be hot on me and I don't want you associated with that. I think it's a little late considering I was your poster child for that, uh, for that speech. But is that one to walk away? Is there anywhere we can get a recap on what happened there? Because I'm like out of the loop, or am I supposed to be? Um, no, that's that's probably fair. Okay. Um, well, I guess he probably would have kept up with all that. 
Okay, so, um, Thomas Green and Galvin are rival energy companies. Okay. You know that, right? Yeah. Okay. And, um, after the A-City attack, uh, Galvin, uh, set yeah. up this big media thing where he was going to announce his collaboration with Green Energy to build a new Galvin Electric plant in A-City, uh, in that spot. Uh, where uh, uh, Vaccine Man attacked and was subsequently annihilated by Saitama. Yeah. Um, Green uh, ended up meeting Kali, who um, was a, uh, a survivor of the end of June, mm -hmm. uh, which was a peaceful protest against Galvin Electric, which, which went horribly wrong because Galvin had staged... Or, um, he had planted, he had planted a violent uh, person yeah. in a crowd who started a riot. Got a lot of people killed. Um, and so, uh, Grin sees an opportunity, because, like, Grin's basically uh, backed into a corner at this point in time. Mm. And he sees an opportunity with through Kali to help uh, wedge him out and get him some leeway to fight back against Galvin. Oh. And, uh, Basically, he, he uses Kali as, as a poster child and as a, as a footstool to help him get an unexpected upper hand over Galvin by basically saying, actually, no, we're not going through with this whole building thing. Galvin right. can go fuck himself. Right. Green, a city belongs to green energy and to the people. Right. Um, and so later at the, uh, the, the uh, celebration dinner they were having that night, uh, Galvin shows up. And, uh, basically, uh... Unleashes an unholy fury yeah. in that room. Yeah. It was at Moby's, wasn't it? Yeah, it was at Moby's. And, uh, basically sits down with Green and says, Look, you and I both know that we have some, maybe not exactly legal dealings going on, it sure would be a shame if people found out about that, wouldn't it? I think we have a deal again, right? <laughs> that's, that's the gist of what he said. He got Green to sign, to sign the contract and the plant was going to go up. But then shit hit the fan. Gotcha. Which is where we are now. Gotcha. Okay. Back up to speed. Yeah. Oh, and hey! Ice cream. What's that? Oh, yeah. Ice cream. Yeah. Kali and Vanna had a nice cream cake. Um, and so yeah, that's where we are now. So Novot, you uh, you fly off to um, yeah Galvin's mansion. To Galvin's mansion, uh, there are a bunch of like heroes uh, run, uh, running around. They've got uh, 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 Galvin's goons tied up. You see uh, some people being carried out on stretchers uh, from your yeah yeah form. What do you do? Hmm. I think I'm just gonna stay in my uh, my swarm mode and just keep an eye on things. Okay. And when I say keep an eye on things, it's like literally all of them. <laughs> <laughs> Touching everything. <laughs> billions of eyes. Yes, billions of eyes on everything. <laughs> so yeah, uh, you, you can feel every nook and cranny of this mansion. Um, you, you can feel every person inside it. You, you can feel the love tonight. You can feel the <laughs> love tonight. You, do you even feel the Ron? <laughs> that is the, the yeah. room of nightmares. Which I saw earlier. Yeah. So I can see what's going on. There. Yeah. And, uh, you, you recognize that the, uh, the capsules that had all the people of them have been yes. opened, so all these people being taken on the stretchers must be the people that right. were uh, from those capsules. Um, uh, let's see. Vanna, what are you doing right now? Basically, we're just leaving, we're picking up right where we left off. The ambulance arrives, um, and people are getting carried out on stretchers. I'm probably standing there looking important with the rest of the heroes. Mm -hmm. so our arms folded, we're nodding every so often. Mm -hmm. We need more stretchers over here. <laughs> <laughs> you uh, know, there are some very important looking heroes down there. Um, 
Also, I guess I go... Okay. Of things that they need to get done. I imagine at this point the, the press has showed up and there's uh, a police line possibly. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. I'm going to um, see if I can find one of Galvin's computers and see what sort of information I can glean from it on. Uh, Dealing with Mother Goose Gang, uh, or investigating Thomas Green, or investigating Black Ink, or I'm going through my checks here. Mm -hmm. uh, missing criminals, Jack Warner and Gillian Wesley. Mm -hmm. um, the Mannequin Man, looking out for the Mannequin Man. Yeah. Uh, anything on the Mother Goose Gang, and pretty much anything on Galvin. Gotcha. So yeah, uh, you you figure that the most important information must be kept at the top of the mansion, and you would assume correctly. Uh, you make your way to the top, uh, there's some heroes moving around, and uh, you, you get up into what can only be described as Galvin's personal study. Uh, I rolled an initial 10 on computers. Okay. If Plus... That, that was... Oh, that was the mod yeah. modified 10? Yeah. Okay. Um, this security system is way beyond you. <laughs> Damn it, I need Eve here. I say aloud. <laughs> you say aloud. <laughs> um, I, I feel if only like... yes. Eve Blossom were here, I'd gladly fall to my knees. <laughs> One of the heroes looks at you. Who's Eve Blossom? Never you mind. <laughs> Nullbot. Yeah, Nullbot materializes. Perhaps Nullbot can be of assistance. Ah! <laughs> Greetings. Greetings. Nolbot's name is Nolbot. Nice to meet you, Nolbot. <laughs> <laughs> like grips your hand. <laughs> His little pincher. <laughs> it's a strong edging. There's Nolbot. Thank you. Um, are you good at computers? Yes. Can you get me information on literally new things like his name? <laughs> That other heroes, the nameless hero is there, is like, Whoa. <laughs> Never you mind, mustache man. It's nameless hero. Oh, I thought, I th okay, I thought you didn't have a name, so I was giving you one. No, 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 my hero name is nameless hero. It's pretty okay. clever, huh? Can I call you mustache man? You've got a really cool going on here. No. Yeah, I'm calling you that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I rolled a seven plus maxed out computer. Jesus, <laughs> how much is that? Uh, do you have my character sheet on there? I, I, don't have it. Here. I do have my laptop on me, by the way. So, I guess we can transfer the files on my laptop and not just parts of the room. Oh, I thought you meant like you had your laptop. Oh, in character. Yeah. In character. <laughs> gotcha. I was like, my, my character sheet doesn't tell me your laptop. So, 7 plus 16, <laughs> plus being able to literally talk with machines. Right. Yeah. So that's a twenty-three, I think. Yeah. yeah. So uh, yeah. you you clunk over to the computer yes. and you basically look at it. Greetings, my name <laughs> is Nolbot. <laughs> <laughs> it is a pleasure to meet you. I am going to attempt to access your your internal hard drives. <laughs> Let me see your memories. <laughs> <laughs> Resistance is futile. <laughs> Your assimilate, memory banks. <laughs> Your memory banks will be copied over to Nullbot. <laughs> yes. All your base are belong to Nullbot. <laughs> That's basically the gist of what yes. happens, and it happens. Awesome. <laughs> you you uh, you uncover a wealth of information. You're you're able to bypass. So many security measures because you are Nolbot. Gotcha. And the 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 love child of Eve and technology. <laughs> um uh, even so, metal husband. <laughs> metal husband. <laughs> so so my eyes do the thing of so you know when uh in Steven Universe when Pearl, Pearl puts yeah, her hands in the hands on the <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Do you make that sound? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Um, Vanna, what was it you wanted to know? Let's, let's well. <laughs> let's find out. <laughs> I want to know. Oh. Why does Cat insist on calling me? My first check off on the box. Check off this box. Is to find a pencil. And then after that, it's find out buyer in dealings with Mother Goose Gang, uh, gun deal we busted, and then I have dash black ink was the mover, dash Tom Thumb's signature looks like the pie symbol. So that's my first check off. Alright. You may want to prioritize because <laughs> at some point the Hero Association may be like, hey, Oh, that's what I'm saying is like, state. move okay. it all onto my computer so I can look through it. Gotcha. On my own, but... So, okay, so Nolbot <laughs> copies it over and you're like, oh, hey, you think you can put that on this? Yeah. Greetings, friend, laptop. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you if this information, and then it's just like static. And yeah. It's, it's, it's just, 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 just dial-up noise. Yeah, yeah dial-up <laughs> 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 I, I like to go greetings friend <laughs> I almost thought you were going to say let me tell you a story yeah, let me tell you a story that's <laughs> 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 you that this was the thing that suddenly materialized in front of you against that fight against Galvin. Oh! Hey, you're the thing that suddenly materialized in front of me in that fight against Galvin. Affirmative. Cool, thanks. Nolbot is programmed to protect humans. That's a good program. Who programmed you? Error. Information not found. That's a weird name. <laughs> Heroes today are weird names. <laughs> Do you like ice cream? Error information not found. Okay. We need more data to determine answer. Well, let's go get ice cream then. <laughs> <laughs> For science, Nolbot. <laughs> you like science, right? Affirmative. All right. <laughs> Question mark. <laughs> Nameless hero. Uh, I'm gonna go science experiment. <laughs> okay, but what about that stuff that just happened with the computer? What stuff? I definitely just saw stuff happen with that machine and both of these computers. One of them, which is maybe we possession. can talk about it over ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> He takes the earbud out. <laughs> I do enjoy ice cream. I do need somebody from the Heroes Association to watch me. This is and true. I'm gonna go get ice cream regardless. <laughs> so Mandarin is unreliable. <laughs> we sneak off and get ice cream. We sneak off and get ice cream. 
<laughs> Switch over to speed, because we haven't done speed in a little bit. <laughs> but now this is the best thing. <laughs> I like how all of Vanna's interactions end with ice cream. Ice cream is the best. Vanna isn't lactose intolerant, so she can eat it. <laughs> so unlike somebody at me. <laughs> she she was talking about herself, not you. Yeah. yeah, I still eat it. <laughs> if, if I'm lactose intolerant, I'm definitely still eating ice cream. Uh, so, let us see. Speed, what did you do when uh, Galvin said go get some sleep? I went back to Harrison's bar. Alright. It's um, really dusty. No one's been in there for quite some time. Clean everything up real quick and go to sleep. Alright. So, it's cleaned up in a literally, like... You burn the dust. A fraction of a second. Yup. So, it's done. Um, you go to sleep. Uh, you have nightmares. Mm-hmm. Because that chip is fucking with your brain. Yep. Uh, make a will save. Basically, just to even sleep. Yeah. Okay, yeah, you power th you power through the horrific nightmares. I'm probably too tired to care. Uh, it's not that. It's that literally Galvin told you to go to sleep. <laughs> so you're able to power. Yeah, actually, good job, Joe. <laughs> Galvin's commands are absolute for speed at this point. Yeah. Um. Around mm, uh, one, you receive a phone call. Like one p.m. Yeah. You get seven hours of sleep. Seven hours of shitty sleep. Yeah. I'll look at the phone. It's from Galvin. I answer it. Hello. Speed. Our timetable just got moved up even faster. I need you back over here in Case City as soon as you possibly can, which I know is basically right this instant. Now, speed. Yeah, I know. I'm getting coffee on the way. So I might be... No distractions here instantaneously. I'm going to be a fraction of a second later with coffee. No, you're not. You should have just been a fraction of a second later and we would have noticed. <laughs> <laughs> should have just not even mentioned it. Yeah. <laughs> So, you get back to uh, K-City in Galvin's extra mansion, uh, and there it, uh, let's see, what happens? Um, man, all the way from G-City to Z-City to K-City, that's some freaking wacky interconnection there. Um, so, uh, Gal Galvin has... Um, you and basically what remains of his uh, goons all lined up in the foyer of this uh, mansion. Uh, Suzuki's there, Hitachi's there, um, uh, Emmett and Clement are there, and like... I glare at them. <laughs> And, like, the rest of the faceless goons. Uh, Galvin says, Gentlemen and ladies, for those of you who are there, <clears throat> we stand at a very interesting predicament. It is without question that the Heroes Association will bring down my beautiful company today. However, should we act fast, in the light of tonight's moon, there will be little to nothing that they can do to stop us. And if we can hold our power until Saturday, my reign will be complete, 
All of the hero cities will belong to me, and all of my glory will be shared with you. Ha ha! They all respond. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> That's in character. That is in character. Be more enthusiastic, Speed. You can't say no unless you want to spend a hero point to roll a will save. Remember this. Yay! <laughs> Yay! I'll take that. <laughs> Damn right you will. Um, uh, hold on, I lost my train of thought. Rain, Saturday, yay. Ha ha! Um. You know, let me let's take a quick break so I can collect my thoughts real quick. And we're back. Ha ha! Yay. You can't keep derailing me like that. <laughs> <laughs> Taking away hero points from you. <laughs> um. Let's see. Another quick break. <laughs> Damn it, random. <laughs> Saturday, blood rain. <laughs> Word, ha ha. Uh, okay. Tonight marks a very rare occurrence in our celestial sky. Tonight is the night, of, uh, tonight marks the beginning of the phases of the blood moon. In the light of a blood moon, I have discovered that anyone and everyone who has powers of any kind will lose them utterly. That's why there are never monster attacks during a blood moon. It's always very peaceful and very quiet. But tonight, tonight all of us who have been graced with my technology, we will rise and we will take this city by force. And the firebenders lose their power! Basically. <laughs> Uh, and that's basically the gist of it. Make a notice check for me. That's student characters, by the way. Yeah. Job and good job. <laughs> I need a different fucking die. <laughs> you need a different fucking die? This thing is not rolled above a 10. Uh, that sounds like your problem, not the dice. It sounds like it's pretty good at fucking me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Specifically fucking you. <laughs> 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 I can't get over that acronym. Oh God, what the fuck? That one rolled even lower. Sorry. Uh, you definitely see Jill in here. Besides, besides Suzuki and Hitachi, yeah. Um, hmm. She's kind of leaned up against the wall with her arms crossed. Okay. I don't do anything. Okay, cool. He hit her with some bread and she gave it to us anyway. <laughs> uh... Yeah, basically, Galvin gives a rousing speech about how uh, he's going to take down the, the Gears Association and uh, rule the city as its king and blah, blah, blah. Uh, 
basically his whole plan. And there's nothing anyone can do to stop him. Wah ha 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 ha. Um. And what time is it? Ten o'clock. Uh. Yeah, I think we'll call it there. I'm kind of tired, and Callan sits, and everyone else is kind of tired too. I gotta stay up for another hour to finish the call. Hmm. Okay. So yeah, I guess we'll call it there. What is the name and uh, cover of this episode? <laughs> is it... Uh, okay, well the cover is, like Joe suggested, mm -hmm. all of us talking and... Pineapples. Pineapples <laughs> looking, like, yeah. trying to grab somebody. <laughs> looking into the Ron. Yes. <laughs> and the title... <laughs> Umeb... <laughs> Too much happened in this this issue, so. Go on. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. I, Lights Out Punk is still a good one. Oh, yeah. Oh, Lights, yeah. Out Punk. Lights Out is a good one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I almost think this today's title is Oopamed. <laughs> that works. U B M E B D. And then in small letters, it's spelled out. Unidentified, uh, big mysterious. mysterious electric basement door. Yes. <laughs> that works. Jeez. Okay, so that's, uh, one experience for everyone on top of the one I awarded earlier. So that's two so far. And then, uh, you know, one more. Um, uh, yeah, let's just round it off at five experience for everyone. Seems fair and just. And yeah, I guess that about does it. So we that and go fuck yourself. That's all. <laughs> Thanks for joining us on this adventure. If you enjoyed listening, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel so you can catch the next issue when it comes out. We'll see you next time.